It seems like the sky's the limit for Leomi Anderson. Leomi. On the edge of supermodel stardom, the 26-year-old has established herself as a disruptive force by being unapologetically different. She's one of the faces of Rihanna's groundbreaking Fenty makeup line and rocked the runway for Emporio Armani, Tom Ford, and Tommy Hilfiger. Leomi recently earned her wings being named one of Victoria's Secret's angels, putting her in a class with people like Giselle Bündchen and Heidi Klum. I just love being able to show who I am and like show my personality, and Victoria's Secret is the perfect platform for that. But beyond her beauty, Leomi is a woman on a mission to level the playing field for models of color. When it came to speaking up about my experiences, I knew that I had to do something. There's girls who are even darker than myself who are in this industry, and they don't really have a voice. Using her voice to influence an industry where Eurocentric features have long been the standard of beauty. It was very normal to be told, if you're a girl with natural hair, oh, that's unprofessional, can you straighten out your hair? Even girls with, like, loose curls were made to chemically straighten their hair. Do you ever feel that you're being hired as the black girl, is that a constant thing? Definitely. Like you're the... Token. The token. Tokenism is still something that the fashion industry needs to work on. You can see a campaign and there will be an array of different women, but it will still always be a majority white women. I don't like it when I go on set and I'm the only black person, full stop. They believe by hiring a darker skinned black woman or a black woman in general, that they are marking off that box of diversity. Leomi grew up in London the daughter of Jamaican parents. She was just 14 years old when a talent scout stopped her while shopping near her home. I had red hair, blue mascara, thought I looked really like cool. And this guy came up to me and was like, hey, have you ever considered doing modeling? And I was just thinking, mm -hmm, stranger danger, why does this man want to take photos of me? I was just like, bye, kind of thing, like, no thanks. But then three months later, somebody else from the same agency came up to me and I was like, okay. Maybe I should just give it a chance, call them. I went into the agency, fake Gucci belt in tow. <laughs> stiff, <laughs> stiff poses as well when I was, you know, doing my Polaroids or whatnot, but I still managed to get signed. I was mm. like, wow. New on the scene and traveling the world as a teenager, Leomi was in for a few unpleasant surprises. All I knew was America's Next Top Model, and I really, really <laughs> thought I was about to be like, you know, running into this glass house for fashion week, having little pillow fights with my roommates wearing colorful pajamas. No, there was roaches. Different story. Yeah, it was a different story. I thought it was going to be so glitz and glamour and all this, but it was the complete opposite. Early on, Leomi says she had to navigate working in a predominantly white industry. So very normal to be told by agents or bookers don't go into a casting after a black model because they might get you confused. Like this was the language that I kind of grew up learning when I first entered the, the fashion industry. Leomi says stylists oftentimes aren't trained to work with black models. I had my incident backstage where um, a makeup artist said that she could do my makeup. She had no foundation shades in my color. She was trying to like do some remixing of like a white shade with like a brown eyeshadow. And I just turned to her and I'm like, yo, like, do you actually have foundation for my skin tone? She said no. Inside, I just felt like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening again. Today, I'm bringing you the black model survival kit. You may sit in a chair with someone who's not that experienced with black skin. Despite the risk, Leomi is using her social media to shine a light on what it's really like behind the scenes for models of color. This thing is a lifesaver because it has every single tone that you kind of need to correct your makeup. Bring your own hair oil. If you can get clippings, guys, please do bring them with you. For the longest time, I felt like if I spoke up, especially being a black model, that I would get labeled those stereotypes of being a diva, or of being aggressive, of you know, not knowing your place. So I was scared. She's really taken her position and her privilege and allowing that beauty to translate into talking about real world issues. I've actually sacrificed so much to be here. Naomi Campbell, Iman, Tyra Banks all broke barriers. Now Leomi and some of her fellow models say they're trying to take it a step further. Model and activist Ebony Davis giving this passionate TEDx talk. 
Inclusion doesn't just mean one token black model. I don't want to be hired so I can fill an HR box. Rihanna. In 2017, when Rihanna developed a makeup line called Fenty Beauty, she called Leomi. Rihanna didn't just shake the table, she flipped it over, destroyed it, and threw it out the window. So I think that Fenty Beauty has completely changed everything. Fenty is now one of the hottest beauty brands, catering to women of all skin tones. Their 50 shades of foundation often selling out. You're the face of Fenty, right? I mean, it's a, it's a big deal. I realize this is going to be a huge moment, not just because it's Rihanna releasing makeup, but because of the message that she's trying to send to other beauty brands too, that you don't have to have the European standard of beauty to be the face of a makeup brand. Are we seeing something happening in the business right now? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like, cool. yeah, black girls. Yeah, a little that. spice yeah, being yes, added. Yes, 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 they can't get enough of it. <laughs> I think that we are making steps when it comes to colorism, but I still feel like the general consensus is still that lighter skin is seen as more expensive and more luxury and darker skin is seen as like urban and cool. It's just that urban and cool is in fashion now. And fashion is not Leomi's only gig. She's launched her own blog for women's issues called LAP, which stands for Leomi Anderson, The Project, The Purpose. I wanted to use fashion as a way of speaking to people and talking about important issues such as body diversity. So these are all from the new collection which we are shooting today before I fly back to London. And a clothing line that Leomi designs, markets, and even steps in the model. It isn't just a clothing brand, it's a brand with a real message and a real ethos aimed at celebrating women and women who have something to say that might go against the status quo. Her provocative sweatshirt was worn by Rihanna at the 2017 Women's March in New York. That was such an insane moment for me. It literally sold out within 24 hours. Much more than a pretty face, Leomi has become a bridge for others who need a voice. What do you hope to do for the next generation of uh, models in general, but young black women in particular? Their voice matters and that they are of value. I want people to see me as someone who was unapologetically themselves and was successful. Like that is what I think I've been put here to do. For Nightline, I'm Zachary Keish in New York. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.